Hey, hey, you guys. So before we get started today, I have a skill nobody knows I have. I'm going to show you how fast I can do this. I'm just kidding. Y'all didn't really think I was that smart, did you? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, I am Keto Diamond and today is day 976 of my ketogenic journey. And this is my old man, the Hubster. You know me old. You. Uh, and he's from Mr. Katie's Keto and Fitness if you want to step over and check him out. All right. So I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday. Well, kind of. I'm going to have to tell you about what I'm because I didn't record it. Anyway, and then I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell because I weigh in twice in this video. And there's a reason for it. Anyway, let's rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto down and stop. It's time, y'all. Alright you guys, so I'm having my next meal at almost 7 p.m. This is um, what's lovingly referred to as crack slaw. In a way, it's my version. Uh, it was fried in olive oil. It's cabbage sausage, a hot spicy sausage with some vegetable aminos and like ginger and different spices. So it's it's okay. It's likely to mess with my water weight, but it's just water weight fluctuation up for a day or so. And that's okay because... I'm still in ketosis when I eat it. So, yeah, let's eat. Blood pressure 111 over 73. Resting heartbeat 103. So, it's not exactly resting at the moment, but still everything's still great. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd show this to you. A little update. We're watching some Jeff Denim tonight for some laughter and giggles. Before we get started, I want to give a special thanks to Sherry, who suggested, uh, who shared a Carol Burnett video with me. Haven't watched that in a long time. It sent me down a rabbit hole of watching Mama's Family, and I had a good time. It was nice and funny, and it was enjoyable. Uh, and a special thank you to Deb, who sent Hubby a little donation to help with his, uh, his teeth issue. If you didn't see his video yesterday, go over there and watch it. It should enlighten you on that subject. And he's done a few videos on it now. Um... Definitely worth a watch, don't you think? Mm -hmm. uh, I also want to say thank you to all of you for being here with me. It really makes my channel grow. makes me feel good. We haven't grown any in about a month, so share these videos. If you find something share worthy, and share some love if you love me. That makes me feel good. Um, so I, I was asked how I stay upbeat while being so overwhelmed. Um, there's a lot of overwhelming stuff going on right now, right? Not really. Really? What's going to happen is going to happen, and stressing over it ain't going to make it no different. Well, anyway, my answer to how I stay upbeat while being overwhelmed is I'm always overwhelmed. There's always a bunch of stuff pressing that I can't really do nothing about. All I can do is try to figure out this, that, and the other and get it done as best I can. It's the same with the stuff going on with hubby. It's the same with stuff going on with me, with, with the vehicles, with the house. I'm always overwhelmed. Always. And I had a lady tell me yesterday she couldn't cope with being so broke and how I can stand it. I'm always broke. I don't know what it is to be rich. I don't know what it is to have everything done that needs to be done. Do you? No. It's not real hard not to be overwhelmed when you're just overwhelmed. I'm constantly stressed. There's always something going on. This is just one more thing to add to the list. And um, I know something that a lot of people apparently don't know. What? Well, laughter, joy, and ketones are the world's best medicine. And as long as I try to stay as positive as possible, I will always remember that when there's a will, there's a way. And I have a lot of will, and we will find a daggone way. I don't know what that way is yet, but we will find it. <laughs> so, also, I got an email from a very sweet lady who is, again, she, she, she mentioned, I, I've mentioned her in my video before, but her name is Tina. And she's struggling. My sister's name is Tina, by the way. Uh, as long as you're not doing what my sister Tina's doing, you're probably much better off. But she, she's struggling with motivation with staying keto right now because of everything going on that's so overwhelming, so frightening, and uncertain. 
But guys and dolls, this is the best time to be keto. The very best time to be keto. Because a lot of people, a lot of everybody who's passing away right now have diabetes, obesity, a bunch of underlying health conditions. Keto heals most of these things. Is it perfect across the board? Maybe not, but it might be. We don't know. And I do know that this is the best time to do your best to stay your absolute healthiest. I'm not talking about you. I know what you've done. No, <laughs> I finished it. I'm back now. Okay, he's back now. Um, he's fallen off the wagon the last couple of days because of the tooth issue. And we had bought him some stuff that was soft so that he could eat when he did when after the dental work was done. Um, and he he had to eat it. Mm, yeah, I had to. Uh, I guess I don't blame him. And I'm doing everything I can to stay keto, but I did have some snafus yesterday. I did. Um, not major ones. Hold on a minute. All right, so did it start? Yes. It did? You see it moving? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blind. Okay, but uh, the snafu is yesterday. Well, not exactly a snafu. I was keeping it keto completely. We did. I, well, we went to Walmart yesterday. We were looking for some ground beef, but they didn't have any. Um, it's just we were supposed becoming... to went this morning, but somebody wanted to sleep in. Yeah, you just got out of bed. Mm, I've been up since 8 o'clock. I didn't sleep in. You got up at 10 o'clock. Was it me? It's not my fault. I had a grandbaby laid in my legs since like what six or seven o'clock. <laughs> Our oldest one, he'll come in there with us. But anyway, then couldn't find any ground beef, and I had decided I wanted some crack slaw. And I do have some issues with the cabbage, um, but not too much. But the sausage, oh, I think that got me. Now, there was one meal y'all did not see that was pre the um, crack slaw. It was actually how I broke my fast yesterday. While we were at Walmart, hubby, um, who was off the wagon, grabbed some wedges, tater wedges. And I got our grandbabies a couple things of popcorn chicken. Well, them damn ranch wings were sitting there smelling so good. So I got seven of them. Yeah, there. I got seven of them, okay? I was clear. I said, I want six. And then I said, go ahead and give me that last one. <laughs> but anyway, um, I ate those. I did step on, step on the scale multiple times after I ate those because you can always tell when something's going to affect your water weight. After you've ate it, if you get on the scale a little while later, if you've had a jump, it'll show. It'll show. It, it will show if that's going to affect you. So I did get on the scale multiple times. N nothing went up you know, unexpectedly. It was like a 0 0.2 here and there, um, which is normal throughout the day. But after I ate the crack slaw, <laughs> oh, and I ate it. Oh, it was so good. Oh, my God. No regrets as far as taste goes. He didn't like it. I my daughter like it, didn't but care I don't for like it. it like that. Well, my daughter didn't care for it either. Um, but I used the sausage instead of the ground beef because we had no ground beef. Well, anyway... Yeah, that definitely affected my way in. Now, I get on the scale twice this morning. I'm going to show you both times. And there's a joke sandwiched in. Sorry about the fan. It's time to weigh in, y'all. Hey, that ain't right. Nuh-uh. Hold on a minute. Hey, huh? It was just cabbage and sausage. It was 73.6 for some cabbage and sausage. That's supposed to be keto friendly esque. Okay, so we're going to try this again, but real fast, I've got a joke that comes from you in part from Keto on a Budget. Okay, so you're uh, an American when you walk in the bathroom, you're an American when you leave the bathroom. But what are you while you're in the bathroom? European. Or you're a pooing. Just depends on what you did. Okay, so let's see if pooing helped. <laughs> a little bit. This is a while ago. It said 173.8. And now it says 173.0. That's a little better. So, yeah. I don't know how far up I am. What was I yesterday? 168.8. Six is where I was yesterday, and today 173. So, like three point some pounds, <laughs> three point four, three point four, somewhere in there. Um, 
That's lovely, right? Uh, that, no, I think it's 4.4. 4. No, yeah, right. it's 4.4. 4. Whatever, it's 3.4, 4.4. If I remember, I'll pop it up on the screen. 4. If not, 4. it's not that important. Anyway, great, right? Great. But off scale victory. Off scale victory. Yes. Oh my God. By the way, hold on. Somebody knocking at the door. Sorry, y'all. Got all three of the grandbabies. My daughter is home now. I thank God, which is why I'm shooting a video and she's watching all the babies for me. But it's a little rough, so they, they're asking for a little bit of help here and there. Um, anyway, the weigh-in was quite... Uh, oh, off scale victory. That's where I was. Off scale victory. Check this out. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but every time I move, this thing is like coming off my finger and it's sliding around. I've got it on the very last hook that I can have it on. It's already too loose. And this is coming off now. And that's because since I wore it last, I've lost a lot of weight in my hand at least. Of course, I guess a lot of weight in your hand could be just a few ounces, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> since your hand is so short and little. Uh, my hands are very, very short. Um, hold your hand up. <laughs> I got kid hands. Oh. <laughs> so, my hands look big in the camera. Mind you, too. To me, like, I'll tell the kids I've got these big sausage fingers, and I'm used to having them because when I started my journey, this was a nine and a half, almost ten on my ring finger, which is now five and a half. But when I look down, honestly, they don't look any different to me. But on camera, they look a lot thinner and smaller. Just to me, they don't. Um, but that is a hell of an off-scale victory that all your jewelry gets too damn big. And like this necklace, when I started, <laughs> was up to here. It was hard to get fastened. Um, but wearable, but hard to get fastened. It would, there, I could put my finger in it. That was about all, and now it's down here. And then I've got this pretty little shiny one that I broke out because it fits over my head now. Uh, <laughs> um, so I do want to address a couple things because I know a lot of you guys are in the middle of the country and y'all are getting ravaged with extra special issues now. So not only do you have the threat of the whole virus thing looming, you have tornadoes and crap. And I'm sure we'll we'll have our share. It is tornado season. To, to, it's tornado season. And it sucks. And those things terrify the living hell out of me. Of course, I was in one not too long ago, so I was a little... Uh, I'm chicken now, high winds, something popping or banging. I'm like, oh God, what's coming? Um, but I want you guys to be as safe as you possibly can and try not to be so overwhelmed. I know there is so much going on right now, but there are ways to alleviate that. Like with Sherry sending me the Carol Burnett show and uh, getting stuck in that rabbit hole of laughter and joy. Look up Carol Burnett. Look up Mama's Family. Look up these old shows with Sammy Davis Jr. in it. And like, uh, I forgot what it was, All in the Family. Nice. Um Mash. Mash was funny. That was a good show. Of course, they took it off Netflix for right now. But look up these old shows. Even up on YouTube, Sanford and Son. The Jeffersons. The Jeffersons. All these good shows that would make you just die laughing. Back then, you ain't seen them jokes in so long. They funny again. Okay, go watch it because I had a good time watching that. We watched Jeff Dunham last night a little bit. Um, Green Acres. Green Acres was good too. I, I love that show. I really, really did. <laughs> I really love that show. That was one of my favorites, actually. <coughs> and MASH. <clears throat> I was getting a little worried last night myself about this whole virus thing. Because our grandson, um, he's been coughing up a storm. Now, he's like me. He's allergic to every damn thing. So, the coughing didn't bother me so much. But I started feeling on him and he felt hot to me. To him, he didn't think he, he felt not. hot. But I thought he did. So, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And uh, so, you know, I'm a little worried about it as far as our children and grandchildren are concerned. Turns out concerned I was right. That, okay, they checked his temperature 30 minutes after I gave him Tylenol. Which, by the way, helped with his cough and didn't have anything, the word cough on it. I also did get him some kids' Claritin. I did not know these existed. Um, I wish I did. They're expensive, though. Good Lord. So, yesterday, we went to, when we went to Walmart to get the meat, um, we're about to go on lockdown as of tomorrow at 5 p.m., but when we went to Walmart to get the meat yesterday, um, we looked for a thermometer, could not find one anywhere. Um, and I did get, like I said, some allergy medicine for my grandson. I am keeping a very close eye on him. The cough is not as bad today, which is a good thing. His grandma, his other grandma usually gets him on the weekends, but she's not this weekend, which is kind of odd to me, to be honest with you. But I think maybe she's a little depressed or maybe she's cleaning her house real good while she's got a little extra time off. I don't know. Mm. Um, but it does worry me. It does concern me a little bit. All right, you guys, so I want y'all to remember, and remember this very well, keto is your best bet. You don't want to come off the wagon all the way right now. 
gain back 60 pounds that you've done, worked your ass off to get rid of. And then when this does pass, and it will pass, like they say, it might pass like a kidney stone, but it will pass. It will go on its own merry way somewhere someday. You do not want to have to not only worry about all the weight and everything you've just gained back, along with all the stuff you've got to catch up, like your bills and stuff. You don't want an extra worry. Plus, keto's your best bet for fighting this virus off. Keeping diabetes and stuff in check. Remember this. If your body is predisposed to diabetes, it will come back. If you go back to eating sugar, it's coming back. If, if you had a fatty liver and you start packing on the pounds again, it's coming back. If you had high blood pressure and you were lucky enough to get rid of it, like I was not, um, it's coming back. I think they got you, uh, meaning. Not yet, they don't. There's another thing you don't realize. While your fat cells shrink and shrivel because you lose weight, they never leave your body. Every last fat cell you have ever gained is still there, and it is primed and ready for you to fill it back up. That's why you regain 100 times faster than the very first time you ever got fat. So you want to be very mindful. Stay as strong and hardcore keto as you can right now. This is your best bet because laughter and keto are the world's best medicine. So get to laughing. Turn off. Probably just got demonetized. I might beep that out. <laughs> Turn the coverage off, okay? Check in once in a while, now and again. But realize not everybody gets this crap. Not everybody gets it. And most of the people who do get it, it's very mild. For some, yes, it's going to be severe, but so is the flu. I think 30,000 people would disagree with you. Honey, hundreds of thousands have had it. Though. Yes. But... It's very mild for most. Don't let this freak you out. This is my husband. He he thinks the worst about things, even though he claims it's no, me. No, I don't. Yes, he does. I just live in the real world. She lives in a fantasy world. It's not a fantasy world. It's absolute facts. Science has proven this. It's absolute facts. People who have a good attitude are less likely to get sick. People who have a, a good immune system, who are doing a very healthy style of eating, less likely to get sick, more likely to fight off bugs if they do get them. She stays sick. I stay I allergic. I stay allergic. I'm allergic to every damn thing. Seriously, they gave me shots all across my arms. And at the time, my arms were like this big. They're still not skinny. But at the time, they were like this big. I mean... See all this? It was filled out with thick, heavy fat, bulging. They gave me 50 shots in each arm to see what all I was allergic to. Everything. <laughs> I'm allergic to everything but penicillin, okay? <laughs> so if I have an itchy throat, it's an allergy. If I'm coughing, it's an allergy. And I knew that. And last night when I ate too much of that sausage and felt like I was pretty sure I was kicked, my, so my throat got sore. Why? Because it does that when I get kicked out of ketosis. My allergies get worse. So if I'm not in Lame ketosis. Lame allergies. What the hell else is it? Do I got a fever? I'm sweating. That don't count. And your hand is sweaty too. Get rid of Anyway. Your head is sweaty. You a sweaty beast. I'm hoping you'd end this real quick. Big sexy man beast. All sweaty. Don't grab those on camera. I didn't. You did too. I That's what you grabbed for. I didn't need to. It must have been... So, by the way, my 1,000th day of keto is coming up. I'm also edging up very slowly on 5,000 subscribers. I brought this out for a reason. So you going to pull the stickers off me? No, I'm going to do it on camera. I want to learn how to do this quickly. And it'll be both a skill set for me and something entertaining for you. Either I will or I won't, right? So I want to see if I can't learn how to do a Rubik's Cube perfectly quickly. Maybe, maybe not, but it can be done. I've seen a lot of people do it. I'm just not one of them. And there's also, with the 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to try to do five cartwheels. So make sure you share these videos so I can hit that 5K mark, get out there and do some cartwheels, and my hubby can stop sweating in the bathroom. He's like, we're getting a fan for this bitch. Watch. Put AC in. <laughs> Put AC in this tiny little room. Um, but it's the only quiet place right now. So, guys and dolls, do something for yourself for 15 minutes today just for yourself. If it's going outside in the grass, it, it, no matter what it is, do something just for you for 15 minutes today to take your mind off everything. Yes, I'm making you wait it out. Just sweat it out, baby. Sweat it out. Uh, <laughs> ow. Um, do something nice for other people today. Turn off the coverage. Find something funny and laugh your ass off. Stay keto. Stay healthy. Comment below. Much love to you. 
So, by the way, I remember to tell you something. <laughs> Bye, y'all.